Hi, my name is Ken Schwartz of Precise Sharpening and today I'm going to introduce two uh, products, one very new uh, and go and explain a little bit about how to prepare a strop. Uh, this is a kangaroo strop. Uh, it's mounted on a piece of glass. Uh, as you can see, it's an extremely thin strop. Uh, to give you an idea, let me put it up at an angle here, and you can see that the leather itself, the kangaroo leather, is about the thickness of an index card. Uh, it's mounted on glass. This gives it an extremely flat surface. And what I'm going to be putting on it is a brand new product. This is the uh, CBN or cubic boron nitride, and it's in a water-based emulsion and so this is what I'm going to be uh, showing you here let me show you another label here so this is the emulsion formulation so let me uh, demonstrate how to do this now this emulsion uh, feels very much almost like a skin conditioner so it very naturally works with a leather product it stays in suspension so there really isn't a need to shake it uh, you can if you want and what I do with this is I put one of these exam gloves on uh, these are something you can get at Costco buy the box They're very cheap uh, and the advantage is not so much hand protection or anything but it just allows me to spread it further and quicker so again this is the uh, the kangaroo leather and I'm going to begin by putting a single drop on here and then quickly spreading it around and you can see it's, it spreads very thin and very quick and another drop over here And basically those two drops cover the entire strop. Uh, it's not a very heavy coat. You don't really need a heavy coat. Uh, and it immediately soaks in and dries. If you want to add another drop, you certainly can. But even on a 3 by 8 strop, two drops is, is really more than adequate. And as you can see, uh, one of the things that I really like about this preparation is that it doesn't leave any uh, buildup or anything like that. And it absorbs immediately into the leather. You don't have to be too fanatic about it being an absolutely perfect finish. No sense wasting any of that that's on the glove. But it just absorbs right into the leather and essentially conditions the leather. Uh, for those of you not familiar with kangaroo leather, uh, it's a very thin leather, very fine surface, and I consider it probably the premier leather for use for knife and razor stropping. Uh, so anyhow, uh, let me give you an example of how to use this. This is a uh, Spyderco knife that I have. Uh, it's a CPM M4 Manix 2 uh, with a 10 degree bevel per side and I'll show you you don't use edge leading strokes on a strop you use edge trailing strokes a trick that's very handy is to to find the angle you go along and then you gradually increase until you get it to sort of catch right about there and that's the angle you hold it at. And what you do is you strop, drawing it towards you rather than with an edge leading effect. Now, what you'll notice is that even though this compound is exceedingly fine, and to give you an idea of the conversion, a 
tenth micron or 0 0.1 micron uh, cubic boron nitride, uh, 0.1 microns is the equivalent of 160,000 grit. Yes, 160,000. So, 10 times finer than a 1 micron or, or 16,000 grit. And some people say, well, does it even do anything because it's so fine? And the answer is an unequivocal, yes, it does. Uh, so that's a couple quick strops on here. Uh, just to touch up the edge just a little bit on my knife. Uh, I find it works exceptionally well following the uh, 15,000 grit Nubatama, which I have in some other videos. And to give you an idea of this, uh, very easy to cut, goes straight down, push cuts are a good bit harder, and pretty effortless. Uh, absolutely fantastic to use on your straight razor edges. Uh, it will give you an exceptionally smooth yet sharp shave. Uh, very comfortable shave. This edge that you get, and you can see it immediately absorbs in, so you can immediately use the product. You don't have to wait for it to dry or anything like that. Uh, quite exceptional. Uh, these strops are available over at Chef Knives to Go. Uh, this particular uh, 0.1 CBN emulsion formulation is something you can get by contacting me directly. Uh, my email, kssks at earthlink.net. Looking forward to hearing from you and some of the comments. Uh, again, the kangaroo strop with 10th micron CBN. Thank you for your time.